Hey, I'm Ryan with Beyond the Tent, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the TC75 cooler from Set Power. I don't know anything about this cooler other than it looks really cool. It's got a fridge compartment and a separate um, freezer compartment. It's huge. I have a huge family, so let's open it up and check it out. All right, so uh, opening it up here, it looks pretty basic. We have our user's manual. We've got our uh, AC cord, and we've got our uh, car adapter right here, or DC power, which uh, I am assuming would be the main one we'll end up using, something we'll be packing in the car. We've got uh, seven kids, five we still have at home, and uh, something like this could be really, really slick. Here's a plug-in right down here. We've got our DC in, which would be, looks like this guy right here. Now we're gonna connect this. Let's give it some power. All right, we got it plugged in and on. There we go. We got our freezer compartment here, fridge here. Oh, I can feel it turning on. Sounds like a refrigerator, to be honest. The way that compressor fires up. And we've got one control here and one here. So we've got two different temperature settings. All right, well, this is our guarantee. Not too bad, a three year on the compressor and one year on everything else. That sounds pretty good. Do's and don'ts. Do not expose it to heavy rain. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Do not put it next to direct heat sources like an open flame. So don't light it on fire. Don't leave it in the rain. No explosives. Don't use it with explosives. Remember that. No explosives. Uh, keep it upright for 24 hours before using. So you can't pack this into your car or something upside down and then flip it over and start using it. Standard stuff you read on all compressors on refrigerators and stuff. Basically a mini refrigerator and freezer combo here, which, uh, you know, when we were camping out in the uh, the canvas bell tent doing a little glamping. In this tent, we, we like to set up a TV, a couple of air mattresses, and we go we go crazy. This isn't this isn't camping when we go in this guy. It's big. This is the type of thing I would absolutely bring in there. Um, I'm kind of an ice cream addict, so the idea of having a freezer, oh man, that's that's nice. So the only thing I'm finding a little bit hard is trying to figure out which one of these goes to which one. The square one, this operates the square one, this operates the, the curved one. And this, this one is the curve, so this is the freezer. This is the controller for the freezer. This is the little bit bigger one. This is a controller for the fridge. So it looks like I can set this down. I don't know what normal temperature for a fridge is. I'm assuming it's a little bit above freezing in the 40 degree range. And I'm gonna set the freezer to 30, 25. So 50 degrees is the highest temperature Fahrenheit and zero is the lowest. So we're gonna go back down to say 25 degrees here. And it's telling me what temperatures they're currently at. It's out in the sun. It's a hot day here in Minnesota. It's reading 79 degrees and 83 degrees. Yeah, I can't feel nothing yet, but uh, I'll let you know how long it takes. We're about 10 minutes in and we've got 69 degrees and 83. Only one side's getting cold fast. We'll come back in 10 more minutes and check it out again. All right, so it's been about another 10 minutes and one side is down to 54 and the other side hasn't moved. I'm wondering if maybe only one side can cool at a time, which would make a lot of sense. So, so it took about a half an hour to go from 88 and 80, well, in the 80s to 36 and 54. And obviously, I, I don't know, but it, it seems to me like it works on one section at a time because one stayed completely warm while the other one went all the way down, and then the other one started going, so. So one neat feature on here is uh, battery protection built in here. So um, I run the EcoFlow um, Delta Mini when we're out camping. Nice big power unit, absolutely love it. Check out our other video. Hopefully we can put it right up over here. Let's press some buttons and see what happens. So our little gear button just switches between Eco and Max. So the Eco, that's the battery protection level. I want Max right now, I need this thing to get cold. 
You just got power and temperature, so there's not much going on here. Let's jump in, take a little bit deeper look at this cooler fridge freezer combo and check it out, see if it's something's worthwhile for camping. They got the uh, adapter hooked up right here. Uh, the fridge only runs on DC power, but I got it set with the adapter to run on AC. Here's the freezer. We definitely got enough room for a uh, half gallon of ice cream right down there. Maybe some hamburger, but not too big, but it's not too small either. We got a pretty good sized basket here. Um, I think you can fit quite a bit of food in there. And here's our refrigerator area. So, and we can swap out. We could do the freezer here and the fridge here, or we could freeze them both, we could refrigerate them both. You do not have to have them set differently. So whatever you need to set up your cooler as. Nice locking lids. Kind of cool. And the, uh, I don't know exactly how this works, but these are supposed to flip around. So the Set Power TC75, it's a, it's a super cool cooler. Nice. Um, you can set either side to whatever temperature you want between zero and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you want it all frozen, you can pack all your frozen stuff here, keep it frozen, bring your cheap cooler, your Coleman for all your other stuff. Maybe even keep some ice that you, you know, freeze a water bottle, throw it in there. Freeze a water bottle, throw it in. Or you can have it both set to like refrigerator temperatures. You can have a freezer and a fridge, either way. So it gives you a lot of flexibility having the two different compartments. I love that. Um, it's not massive. It's not too painfully heavy. You can definitely tell, you got a little bit extra weight over here with the compressor over there and everything, but um, fill that up with food. A little bit, little bit heavier than your normal cooler, but to me, it feels like a, um, a Pelican or a Yeti cooler in weight, maybe a touch heavier, but uh, definitely a lot cooler. Again, nice too. But is it worth the price? I believe, uh, I'd have to check the price. We'll put it up here on the screen. But I wanna say the price comes in in that seven to $800 range. So it's definitely up there. Obviously you can get this size of a cooler, a cheap one for, you know, under a hundred bucks probably for a Coleman. You can get a Yeti in that four or $500 range. And those are really nice coolers. It's gonna keep everything cold for a long time. but. The one area I'd step up to here is if I need that actual freezing capability. Um, if you just need to keep stuff cold, like a refrigerator, I don't think you need to spend this much money personally, even though it is super cool. But if you need to keep stuff absolutely frozen, that's hard to do in a cooler, no matter how much ice you put in, it's not gonna keep it below freezing. So using those freezing capabilities on here would uh, definitely come in handy. And if that's important to you, then step up, spend the money. It's a sweet cooler. For me and my family, I'm all about it. Anytime we go on a camping trip with the big tents, this is coming along. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, I'm Ryan. Thanks for watching.